What's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cool uh, plugin or pack that you guys can use for uh, your cool projects, whether it's for intros or outros. That's pretty much what this pack is about. It's the YouTuber 3.0 pack by Digital. Uh, digital products 669 so shout outs to him for sponsoring today's video again I'm gonna show you what uh, you guys can do with this so this one I created here using the pack and I just use the 100 thieves logo because I didn't have a logo for the intro where you can uh, change the placeholder for the logo and put your own logo if you have one so this is what it's gonna look like in 60 frames per second and it looks fantastic it looks super cool and you can put in your website there and it's really simple and easy to install by the way and I'm gonna show you how to actually install this pack super quick the link is gonna be in the description by the way to download this pack it's not for free but it's a really really cool uh, plug-in or a pack for Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm using Final Cut Pro 10 10.4.5 by the way so that's the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10 so the process is going to be the same if you have an older version I'm not going to get too crazy in, in depth with this I already made so many videos installing packs but uh, once you download the pack it's going to be in a zip just unzip both files uh, mainly this file here so you're going to open this file up first thing you want to go into the help documentation folder open up the readme uh, PDF here it will show you the page here with the fonts that you guys will need for this to work so that the intro and the outro look pretty nice so you're gonna have to click this Dropbox link here to download the fonts what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new finder window so we'll go to file new finder window and then we're gonna go into uh, go at the top and we're gonna go onto the home folder and inside the home folder we're gonna go into the movies folder go inside the motion templates folder if you don't have one create one and then after this you're going to want to create a title fold a titles folder and a transitions folder if you have one already leave them how it is uh, but with both of these folders almost all of them you want, you want to right click click on get info go to name and extension and at the end type in dot localized with a z and you're going to do that for the rest of the other folders if you have them and this will allow you to uh, it will allow the pack to work with Final Cut Pro 10. So from this point, all you gotta do is select the end screens, the logo reveals, the lower thirds, the side info, and the titles. You wanna drag that into the titles folder, and then you want to drag the transitions folder inside of the transitions within the motion templates folder. So once you guys have done that, and you're pretty much good to go, and you have the fonts installed, re, uh, reopen Final Cut Pro 10 if you haven't closed it already, and it will load all the acts. So if I go into the titles and generators at the top here, I go to titles, and I go to the bottom here where it says TYP, which is the YouTuber pack, then um, you want to click on this one here, which is the end screens, and all of these are really, really cool. So you have, I think, uh, let's see, there's about 10 of the end screens, and each one of these you guys can customize to your liking. So if I were to click this one and drag it into the timeline, um, you want to uh, specify the video property. So I'm going to do 60 frames for really smooth uh, playback, or you can do 30 frames, whatever you guys prefer. This is what it's going to look like if I push play. So you can customize all of the colors, the text the logos, the website, pretty much everything. So right here are the drop zones where you can actually add your videos. So to do that, all you gotta do is go into the inspector window here, and then you're gonna go down here. So you're gonna have video source, uh, you're gonna have video one, video two. So video one, I think is this one. If I click on here, it's gonna allow you to select a source clip. So I'm gonna select this first one here and I'm gonna click on apply. So now you're gonna see that this pretty much allows you to put that video within that little placeholder and this will automatically start playing for you, which is super cool. And it saves you so much time from keyframing and all of that. The second one, we're gonna click on this button and we're gonna select a second video. These are all random by the way, so um, they really have nothing to do with this. So I'm just gonna click this one. I'm gonna click on apply and you're gonna see that they're just uh, adding into that little square there where a video would actually show. And then in YouTube, uh, in the editor, you can actually um, add your own, you can add some clickable uh, like links. So towards the end of that outro, people can click on this video, which would be really cool. So I'm going to click on the uh, image placeholder here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select this last one here. Uh, this will actually be the, uh, the background the image. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go back here and see if I can find the other one. Uh, video one. Uh, I think this one, yeah, so I'm going to click on this one and do this one here, and I'm going to click on Apply Clip, 
and then the last one you can see there's another drop zone so I'm going to select this one here just because it's a wallpaper the one that I have I'm gonna click on this one and select this and now you're gonna see that the background has changed and I'm gonna click on apply so now you can see that this changed it all for you in a matter of seconds and this looks super super cool guys so now we can go ahead and change the colors if we want you have a whole bunch of customizations you have color one through four to change the color theme you have social media it, it, everything's organized for you to actually change it so like uh, we can change here the first color to something else like maybe you want red or pink you can do that I'm going to do maybe red and then I'm going to change the titles here so I'm going to go to this one you can do watch next or you can do uh, new video something like that uh, title one here you can do um, if you add a lot of text it's going to look like that so I think you're limited to a couple of, of, uh, of words here so I'm going to do crazy uh, crazy leaf video and then this one I'm just going to name this uh, tropical vlog number two as an example and then um, over here you can change your t your handles King Tuts Pro if you guys don't follow me already you, sh you should do you should probably do that and over here we have social logo so you can actually change these logos if you don't like them which is neat um, just make sure you import them into Final Cut Pro 10 so the next one is gonna be I'm not gonna go through every single one but I'm just gonna go through the ones that are I think are the really um, the nice ones of course all of these are nice but I'm just showing you the main ones that you would use so you have a whole bunch of logo reveals of course you can go through all of these on your own time because these are these are there's a lot to go through here so I'm going to do this one here and I'm gonna drag it into the timeline I'm gonna choose my frame rate uh, 60 and you can change all of the colors here and go through everything like I said but I'm going to choose this one where it says logo placeholder I'm going to click on that I'm going to go back here and choose the logo here which is not mine by the way but click on that and then if we go back here to the inspector window we can change or get rid of like the background here if we, if we don't want it you can also get rid of this one you can hide the logo shape get rid of the logo tint if you don't want a logo tint I'm going to keep it how it is though and you can change the scale of the logo you're only limited to about like a square so I'm gonna do that and you can of course change what it says here so I'm gonna do 100 uh, I'm gonna change that to uh, clothing brand and if you don't like the font all you gotta do is click on these and you can change this to whatever you want I'm gonna do something like that yeah so you can do a whole bunch of stuff here changing the colors of everything and if I go back and I push play, this is what it's going to look like, which looks super cool in my opinion. You also have the lower thirds. So you have these here you can add if you have like some text that you want, like reveal if I drag this up here and I push play. It's going to add that on top and you can change this the, by moving it over here and clicking done. So if you want to add like a text um, or you want to highlight someone's name you can do that which is pretty cool the last but not least we have the transitions and I'm gonna add this one over here so if I do this and I add the transition and I go back it's gonna look like that which looks super cool and you have a whole bunch of transitions so um, that's really neat if you click on the transition you can actually change the uh, the colors of it which is actually really neat so you can do instead of orange you can do like red if you really want and you can do red and another color uh, you can also do a logo here so instead of it saying instead of it saying that we can click on this and change it to 100 thieves so now if I go back and I push play it's going to show you the the 100 thieves logo which looks super neat and you can also disable the logo tint to the original logo so that's really neat you guys can save so much time of editing uh, with this pack so link is going to be in the description to check out and i will catch you guys on my next video peace